hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at some amazing throws done at the Penchak Silat Championship. A subscriber uh, put this to my attention and I'd really like to dedicate one video for this because what I saw was simply amazing. It's Judo's rarest throws yet done uh, somewhere else. So I'm going to be looking at the format and see how it is possible to do such uh, throws. Obviously the rules are differing, but Nonetheless, it's very awesome to see these throws. So there is gripping, there is kicking, there is uh, leg grabs. There's just so many things going on. So here you see she grabs her leg and goes for what I like to call a definite uh, ukiwaza. One of the kings of this throw was none other than Teddy Rene, 10 times world champion, five Olympic medals. Here you see he does it from a low position. He does it from a high position. Here he accompanies uh, to Shishvili, to the edge of the mat, and then throws him with it. He was brilliant with this technique. So it is a technique that's done in Judo, but all the others to come, not so much. Here you see this is the basic form of it. So what you do is create Kazushi, go diagonally, and then block their ankle with the inner part of your thigh. And then with your hands, you guide them over. So next here is he grabs the leg of the kick and then goes for a sweep as he sacrifices himself downwards. I would label this as Yoko Gake or side hook. And here, as you can see, he gets him off balance and then with a sweeping blow goes to the side. Now with the leg grab, he swept obviously the opposing leg, but it's still the same principle. Now, this is not a judo throw, but I just wanted to share this with you. By the way, the video will be in the description below. This is just fun to watch. I'm not going to lie. So next, here you see, goes for a kick, and then his opponent turns it to a spinning kibisugaishi or ankle pick. Very reminiscent of the 2004 Olympic Games when Inoue goes for Ouchigari and then Van der Geest counters with a spinning Kibisugaishi. I want leg grabs to be back and this for a particular reason. So Kibisugaishi, this is the basic form. You go down and then you pull the sleeve as you pull the ankle. You create like a wheel and then you go to the side in order to engage to the ground. So I want leg grabs to be back because if you don't have good gripping, you're going to get countered with leg grabs. And that's the ultimate goal, to have the greatest gripping. Now, this one here is very tricky. She goes for like a Yoko Otoshi, but her leg misses. And then it turns into like a Yoko Wakare. So Yoko Otoshi, as you see, you grab, then you pull to the side. You hook the ankle with your thigh as you take them sideways. Hence the name, Yoko Otoshi, side drop. But what happened with that woman was her leg did not, was not able to hook the leg. So it ended up spinning and then she ended up in this particular position, very similar to a Yoko Wakare. Now, this happens in judo all the time. You go for a throw and then it ends up being something else, which is very normal. Uh, but uh, it's very interesting to see in this championship nonetheless. So uh, the human body moves the same everywhere. So it's bound to have uh, this effect anytime you are experiencing some uh, resistance and you're fighting against a resisting opponent. So uh, this is mainly it. Again, the video will be linked in the description below. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content only. And of course, your support would mean uh, greatly. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.